How's it going everyone? I hope you're all doing well and welcome to this split episode. If you've been on a phone manufacturer's website recently, then you may have noticed a trade-in option where you can trade in either your used or broken phone in order to maybe get some money off your new phone. And I personally think this is an excellent idea, but it still needs some improvement. So I wanted to take a look into this today, talk about what the point of it is and how it could be improved. So the first reason as to why smartphone manufacturers may offer to buy back your phone is to refurbish it and sell it on for much more than they gave you or for more than you could get at a private sale. <laughs> this is a terrible option and you should never do. The second option, however, is much better. So if you've paid attention to any of Apple's events in the last year, you may have heard that they now recycle all of their rare earth elements and other precious metals. So where do you think they get them from? I'd be willing to guess a big source of a lot of these precious metals is from old broken phones. These rare earth elements include, but aren't limited to, gold, silver, platinum, yttrium, terbium, and dysprosium. Other fun facts, if it's beyond salvageable for use in the phone, certain chemicals like potassium nitrate, which is used to give Gorilla Glass its strength, may be used as well, although I can't verify this. Now, of course, unfortunately, this isn't all environmental. Assuming around 0.034 grams of gold in an iPhone, purely in iPhones sold in 2018, this alone cost Apple 417 million, hold on, I'm gonna have to pull my notes out for this one, 417 million, 515,368 dollars. That was a lot of numbers. And of course, this is assuming today's gold pricing. So there's another reason as to why smartphone companies might want your old phone. Now, of course, while all of this is good and it should be acknowledged, there is of course still a lot of badness in the tech production world. So while phones may be environmentally friendly, not exactly 100% ethical. What's more is, once again, you probably won't be paid for your broken phone. If you're trading in a phone and it's not basically fully working, then chances are, from what I've seen, phone companies won't really offer you much, if anything at all. That also needs to change because they're benefiting from your broken phone regardless. I mean, even if it's just a discount on a new phone purchase, some kind of incentive would be nice. So while I do like this system and I do finally like the fact that smartphone companies are being a little bit more environmentally friendly, I mean, there is a lot of rare stuff in technology that isn't easy to get. So the fact that some of these companies are now recycling their rare earth elements is definitely a step in the right direction. Anyway, I said this was a split video and I wasn't lying. So, on with the rest of the video. All right, so I thought we'd take a break from talking about tech to run some errands. Errands, is it errands or errands? Errands, errands sounds better. Also gonna use this opportunity to get the B-roll for what you just saw. And yeah, I thought it'd be fun to take you guys on the more day-to-day -day life. First up, buy new glasses. Glasses got. Around two, skin clinic. This is gonna be a weird one. <laughs> I actually recorded a uh, Patreon video where I went to the same skin clinic and got a painful treatment. I still haven't edited that. I need to, I need to get on and edit that because that got some, uh, that's got some funny moments in. Anyway, let's go and get a uh, slightly less painful treatment. I'm back. I think I'm gonna make a coffee now. In fact, I'm gonna make one that I've never made before. Let's make an iced Americano. Okay, well. 
that didn't last long. Honestly, if you have an espresso machine, definitely try this one out. It is super good. Anyway, bit of a divided video, but let's head back to the studio and wrap this one up. All right, guys, so that's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed this one. Let me know, by the way, have you ever used one of those phone trade-in systems? Did you think it was good? And if not, what stopped you? Feel free to leave me a comment. I always enjoy reading those. Once again, a huge thank you to everyone who supports the show over on Patreon. If you want to get bonus videos or some wallpaper packs every month and much more, then feel free to check that out. As for now, as always, thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you want to see more content like this, then smash that subscribe button. I'm done for now, and I will see you guys in the next one.